Hello, this is Sharon, and this is part three of putting together my Que Sera Sera mini album. And if anybody else is working on a mini album, I would sure love for you to join in and share what you're making. So I'm back to the cover page from yesterday, and I had a comment, I think it was Shanzi had mentioned how she loves feathers on everything. And so I put, I haven't glued them down because I want to see what you think. I've put a blue and a red feather here by the flowers. And I want to know what do you think? Does that look okay or does that take away? Should I leave them off or should I put those on? So please let me know what you think. Um, I didn't want to put too much because the flowers, I don't want to take away from the beautiful flowers. So let me know what you think. All right, now um, we're going to work on this side. And I got a picture and it, it feels really weird. I'm making this for my husband, so of course I can't be putting uh, pictures of my husband in there. I've got to put of me. That I hate looking at my pictures <laughs> but here it goes so this is a picture and I think we're uh, we're in San Francisco at the piers and I think this was near Pier 49 and this is in the good old days when I had a lot of hair and I used to dye it red I'm naturally brown and you can tell by that big old glasses that that was in the um, early 90s. So I'm thinking what I want to do. I'm going to lay it on the table here. I have, oh, I got feathers everywhere now. Let me get these out of the way or they will start flying. Okay. I'm going to try filming what I do because that was another suggestion. I have this pretty gold ribbon and I'm thinking before I put my picture I would like to put this here. So what I'm going to do is put some glue and I love this fabric tack permanent adhesive. It works so good on lace and it's by Beacon Adhesives. And this is, I would say, going on about a year now, and I still have, and I use this all the time. And let's see, so I'm going to put this on my ribbon, oops, I'm out of frame. The only thing is, you got, it's a very thick glue, so you've got to make sure it's getting down there first before you can do anything. I think next time I'm going to put music so you have music while I'm doing my little tasks here. Um, we've had so many videos because of those 31 videos in 31 days and I've really enjoyed seeing what everybody's doing. I've gotten some good ideas and I I just love when people show their scrap room. That is so fun. So I've enjoyed uh, what is it? Journal Artista and her showing how she's organizing and Mary Drab with her I hope I'm saying your last name right. Um, with changing her room so I'm hoping this comes out straight I'm so terrible at making things straight it's probably a little crooked there let's see good thing about this it gives you some play time that you can correct your boo-boos that's what I like about this E the ink glue okay let's see did I do it too high of course I did it too high see I'm gonna have sticky stuff on there mm. 
Okay. Let's do it down here. Let's see before I stick it all the way. Yep, that'll work. Okay. Well, it didn't leave any stickiness at all. Okay. There. That is on there. And now I want to, oh, of course I forgot my glue. Oh, I was going to use this tape. Okay, so now I'm going to put some tape, and I didn't bring scissors. See, my craft room is downstairs, but my computer is upstairs, and I'm too lazy to take it apart and drag it down there. Oh, dear. Let's see. I have scissors here someplace. So oh, well, I will tear. You can tear this tape. That's the one good thing about this um, score score tape. It's by Suk Wong. Suk Wong, I guess is how you say it. Okay, let's see. So I'm going to tape my picture, and I don't have fancy programs like a lot of the artists out there where they can stop or they speed up and all that I don't have that kind of feature so I'm thinking this is probably boring for you to see every step I do you let me know if you prefer I just show the pictures and it's quick and easy or if you really want to see how I'm doing it okay got the tape on and what I like about this tape versus that red tape is this doesn't get all um, you know how where you pull it off and it sticks to your hand and it's like you can't get it off well this one doesn't do that so I love that and it's very easy to get off you don't have to keep picking at the corner. Okay, let's see. And I'm just doing an eyeball to see if it looks straight. A lot of my things come out very crooked because my perception of straight is very bad. Okay, so I've got the picture with the lace. And now um, I have this sticker and it says wonderful and I and my husband just love the ocean so much I think I need to put a little bit more glue here Ooh, big bubbles here just need a little bit okay let's see Good thing about this glue, and I know um, Drew from Card of My Eye, you could just rub it and it comes off. It doesn't stick or anything. So that's what I'm doing. Okay, and any excess will just rub off, so I'll take care of that later. You just don't want to get this stuff on your picture because it does ruin the picture. So hopefully I didn't get any of that there. Okay, let's see. I wanted to put some flowers too, because you know me, I love flowers. So let's see. I'm thinking. Uh oh, where's my blue flower? I didn't bring up my blue flower. Oh, there it is. For the ocean, the blue, to catch the blue, put this here and maybe. See, how about we put this here and then like that? Oh, look at my glue, it's blowing bubbles. Can you see that? <laughs> yeah, my puppet. Oh, sticky blue. All right, and then let's see. How about I put this purple in the center that of that? And then I can put the wonderful over here. 
I think that'll look nice. Okay, let's go for it. So, got my little sticky dots that I love. Well, these are the bigger ones. They are so good. Unless you get it stuck on your fingernail, then it's horrible. Okay, so there's one flower. And then let me put that middle. Oh, I know, I wanted this one because it has the blue in it. So let's get that one. So there's the first flower with the gem in it. Okay, then let's get down this next one. And the second layer. I wonder if I put it too close. I don't want to cover up those gems. They still show. If I had a second chance, I would have put it a little bit lower. But que sera sera, as they say. Now I want to put a little gem in that. So let me spill out my gems, see what I got. What color to use? Should I use blue? Yeah, that don't look good. How about some bright pink that looks pretty can you tell I like pink okay let's put that in I'm using the smaller dots for that and we'll get that right there is that too pinkish I just love pink. This is purple, lavender, the blue. Then I've got the pink with the blue. Pink. Sometimes on the videos you just can't see the colors as well. Alright. So this is a little sticky, but I'll get that off. Now I want to put that wonderful there. I'm wondering. Let me play here a second. No. No good. No good. Okay. Let's see. Not used to doing this in front of people. Not that you're here, but I know you're looking at it when it's there. And if I goof up, the whole world sees my goof. Or at least those who watch the videos. Okay. Wonderful! Oceans are wonderful and I miss them so much. Here where I live, I have no ocean to look at. Okay, should I put some pearls? How about I put the pearls underneath that? Or do we already have enough going on? Let's see what it looks like. want something to accent that wonderful so I think I'm gonna put these gonna put it there no there I think so so let's see and of course I don't have my scissors to cut off so I just want to put it underneath and I'm let's see Okay, well, I'm going to put it underneath there. I don't want to stick it yet because I want to cut off those. So what do you think? Anything else I should add? 
more feathers. Let's see. What do I got here? Should I put a feather like that? Let me get it where it's not glaring so much. Okay. What do you think? Let me know. Um, I like the pearls under the wonderful, so I definitely want to do that. And the feather doesn't look too bad. Let's see, I'm going to get a better picture of that. Can you see the feather better? See that? The purple. Okay. I think I like that. So that will be my second page for my honey. All right, well, thank you all so much. And let me know if this process is like, oh, way slow and just show me the pictures of what you did or do you like seeing what I'm doing? And see, my glue is still <laughs> bubbling. So I guess you better top it off. Don't let it sit because then it just starts coming out. Okay, I covered it up. All right, everybody, thank you so much. I'll have another part coming soon. What is this? Part three. So part four coming soon.